My name is Joan Gamble and I've worked with Moray Council as carer stroke team leader since 2005. I love my job. I like being part of a team, although I am classed as a lone worker. The team is a network of support to each care worker and of course there are organisers who can be called on for help and advice at any time. The aims of my job as a carer is to provide support to clients who live in the community in their own homes. I provide personal care which entails all aspects of a person's daily needs. Example, washing and them providing assistance with meal preparation, prompting clients with their medication. I'm also responsible for ordering some of the client's medication on a monthly basis. Some clients need help with dressing and if they have poor mobility I help them to their chair or bed. Some clients are mobile and only need minimum support. My role is to encourage clients to do as much for themselves as they can and to encourage them to be as independent as possible possible. I also do domestic care which entails all household tasks. I go shopping and collect pensions when authorised. If you're looking for a career, caring is a profession worth considering. It offers a person who can apply themselves to learn and put in the effort towards gaining qualifications. For the person interested in enabling people to live in their own home and giving them choice and independence, this is an ideal job. You will have the support of your team and care organisers at only a phone call away. The work is very interesting and varied and no two days are the same. You will provide domestic care and personal care. Terms and conditions are very good with sick pay, pension plans, special leave for hospital appointments and family emergencies. The good things about the job of a carer is there is a team meeting once a month which is obligatory for you to attend. This gives you an opportunity to share any concerns, get advice from your fellow team members and team leader. You can take the opportunity to blow off steam if need be. You will find as you meet other carers at training courses and in the course of your work that while we are all very different, we are all very like-minded in relation to our job of promoting clients' independence, giving them choice and enabling them to achieve as much as they are able. This is a source of great job satisfaction. There can be a downside and this is no different than this job. One of the drawbacks is priority of time. This is a must and a willingness to go the extra mile out of contracted hours. There is paperwork, exam form filling such as timesheets, holiday sheets, variation sheets, mileage sheets, expenses for phone and parking and of course working in unsocial hours. This might not suit the lifestyle of a person with a family commitment such as having to collect children from nursery or school. In my life as a carer. A typical day can become quite hectic. My day starts at 7am with my first client. This is for personal care and I am authorised a half an hour to assist him with a shower. I wash his back and assist him out of the shower making sure hard to reach places are dry. I ensure his feet and in between his toes are dry, checking to make sure there's no bruising or skin damage. I lay out his clothes in order he will put them on. I tie his shoelaces. I tidy the bathroom, dry the shower floor and make up the bed tidy around. All the while I listen to him as he is an anxious person and I try to allay his worries and talk through any problems he has. This is a hard but rewarding job, very varied with a lot of responsibility. There is lots of opportunity to put your own individuality and skills into practice and a chance to make a real difference to people's lives but the job satisfaction is second to none.